Grade 5 math number 22. Divide by a two digit divisor. We're going to do long division with a two digit divisor. Okay? So just so you remember, when we divide, we go right up below subtract. So we go right, the 3 would go into the 12, then we go up, and we write how many times it went into the 12 above the 12, then we go below and we write what the multiplication was, 3 times 4 below here, and then we subtract. So it's like rubs. If you can remember rubs, you go right up below subtract, okay? So also remember that this little guy out here is the divisor, and then the big number inside of the long division is the dividend. The quotient is the answer with the remainder next to it, and that's what was left over when we finished subtracting, see? All right? So. Tala collected 448 used children's books to start a library. If she had 14 shelves to put the books on, how many books could go on each shelf? So we need to divide 448 by the 14, right? So what I do, and you can do this if you want, but this is what I do, okay? I'm not saying you have to. I do multiplication on the side. If I'm going to deal with 14 as a divisor, I immediately do 14 times 2. I know what 14 times 1 is, so I don't need to do that one. But I do 14 times 2, 14 times 3, 14 times 4. And I do them on the side for just in case. That way, when I say, how many times can 14 go into 4? Well, none. But can it go into 44? Well, I can look over on the side here and go, well, there we go. So you can't go over the number. I can't go over 42 because it's got to fit into the 44, see? So we're going to be at 42, so I'm going to use 3. So I put the 3 there. I already know the multiplication because I did it on the side. I write my 42 there and I do my subtraction. 42 from 44 is 2. Then it was the 8's turn to come down right here. And now I've got 14 going into 28, which I know is 2 from my multiplication on the side. I put the 2 up there, I write my 28 here and do my subtraction, and I've got 0. So by doing multiplication on the side or on scratch paper, it'll help us solve the problem quicker. See? Here's another one where I did it, okay? This is if you don't have a calculator. So we're dealing with 31, so I immediately did 31 times 2, 31 times 3, 31 times 4, 31 times 5, and then I waited, because I may not need more than that. So how many times can 31 fit into 5? It can't. So we move to 57. 31 can go into 57 one time. So because it can't go into 5 and it goes into 57, my 1 goes above the 7 of the 57. See? We weren't putting it into 5 so the 1 doesn't go up there. It goes above the number we're putting it into in the 1's place, above the 7. So 31 times 1 is 31. We do our subtraction and get 26, and it's the 3's turn to come down. So now we say, how many times can 31 fit into 263? Did I get that big? No. So I do a few more, 31 times 6, 31 times 7, 31 times 8, 31 times 9, and I'm looking for 263. Well, 31 times 9 is 279. That's too big. So I should have to go back to 8. So I put the 8 up there. I put my 248 that I already know it is from doing my multiplication on the side. I do my subtraction and I get 15. And now it's the 9's turn to come down. So now we have 159. Now because I did them all, 2 through 9, I just need to look through which one is close to 159. And look, 31 times 5 is 155. So I put my 5 up there. I put my 155 there. I do my subtraction and get 4. My remainder is 4. Isn't that easy? So now I did it again. I had 56 going into 4,238. So I did 56 times 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on the side here. Okay? So now I already know all my answers. 56 can't fit into 4. It can't fit into 42. So it's going to have to go into 423. And by doing 56 times 7, I thought I, saw, I already figured that it was 392. See? So I put my 392 there, and I do my subtraction, and I get 31, see? And then it was the 8's turn to come down. So now we have 318 that we need to put 56 into. I look through all my multiplication for something around 
318 but less than 318. That's too big. So 5 will work. 280. So I put my 5 up there. I put my 280 there. I do my subtraction and get 38. 56 can't fit into 38, so that's my remainder. See? So by doing quick multiplication on the side, you can just plug it in real quick. You could also do it as you're going, you know, slowly saying, okay, it's not that one. I'll try the next one. I like to get it all done, you know, on the side first so I can just go pow, pow, pow and get it all done. All right. So another way we could do it is by just thinking in groups of 10s, 20s, 30s, 40s. So for this one, because it's so close to 20, and this is almost like a 50, or it could be a 40 because it starts with a 4. I know 21 can't fit into 4, so I've got it fitted into 49. So I think to myself, 20 times 2 is 40. So I know I can fit in there a couple times, so I put the 2 up there above the, the 9 for the 49 because we're not putting it into 4, we're putting it into 49. And I know that 21 times 2 is 42. We do our subtraction and get 7. And then it was the 6's turn to come down. Well, I know that 20 times 3 is 60. 20 times 4 is 80, but 80 is too big. So we're going to go with 60. So I did 21 times 3. And then I did the actual multiplication, which was 63, and did the subtraction. 76 minus 63 is 13. And it was the 7's turn to come down. Now I've got 137. Now I know that 20 times 6 is 120, because 2 times 6 is 12. So what I did was I put the 6 up there, but then I did the 21 times 6 to do the exact. See, I always did the 21 to be exact. So I used this to help me find the number, and then I did the exact multiplication of 21 times 6, which is 126. So my 6 got put up there. I put my 126. I have 11 left over, and that's my remainder. So you can either do it this way and get in the ballpark, or you can do it my way. I've done it this way for decades. <laughs> so a teacher taught me this back in the 1960s. That's how old I am. I'm a grandma. So... I've always done it this way, and then I end up doing my long division very quickly, okay? It doesn't hurt to have your multiplication tables memorized, too, because then you can do these really fast. So that is dividing by a two-digit divisor. We pretty much are just rounding it off and seeing how much it'll fit in. But always ask yourself, does it fit into the 4? Does it fit into the 49? Or does it fit into the 496? Just slowly move your finger over the dividend and try to see which one it fits into. Okay? I hope this helped you. I hope it was helpful. Keep trying, keep up the good work, and I'll see you next video. Bye.